raw status. The periodic table is updated when new elements are discovered, confirmed, and named, which can be a long and difficult process. The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, IUPAC, and the International Union of Pure and Applied Physics, IUPAP, set guidelines for adding elements to the table. The process can include using rare radioactive ingredients, atom smashing, detection, paperwork, and waiting. Great observation, man. So it sounds as if the IUPAC and the IUPAP are to chemistry and physics what FBA is to hip-hop and the elements of. So the numbers above the symbol for the elements is in regard to the weight. Hydrogen, H, being the lightest. Organicin, number 118 being the heaviest. Organicin is actually a man-made element. The elements of hip-hop, what are they? Well, just like the periodic table, you can add elements to the table even if they didn't exist in the past hit that thumbs up fba people would be the heaviest element it's been said that knowledge wisdom understanding are an element of hip-hop so a thought would be lighter than the actual physical person fba another heavy would be djing why because djing requires equipment the dj's equipment would be heavier than wisdom knowledge and understanding hit that thumbs up the rapper or the mc the written rhymes the songs that are recorded would be another light element hit that thumbs up graph art graffiti would be a, another heavy so on and so forth so when we hear the new york latino community the dr columbus's of the world the people out there that just simply don't want to respect the original element of rap that is FBA, which I am suggesting being added to the elements of hip hop. The truth of the matter is these haters, these tethers do not have a say so. That goes for Busta Rhymes to Jamaicans had nothing to do with the creation. No disrespect to Jamaicans, but they had nothing to do with the creation of hip hop. However, all of that has been settled with the release of Microphone Check. Now you just refer them to that movie. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe as and as its atomic number suggests it's pretty important there's hydrogen in the air you breathe the water you drink and the tech on your desk gaseous hydrogen is used to manufacture all kinds of electronics like silicon computer chips similar to hydrogen you find fba culture to be the most abundant in hip-hop as a matter of fact to be the only abundance in hip-hop hit that thumbs up any discussion of the elements of hip-hop, the origins of their usefulness, why they exist, should only be certified by FBA. Oh, how correct you are, Raw. Some elements can't be seen. Some have no color. In the discovery and or creation of elements is an ongoing process that will never end. Just like Oganison, elements can be created artificially from other elements. Oganesian was named after a Russian scientist, Dr. Yuri Oganesian, if I'm saying that right. So, like many other elements, they are named after the person that created them and or the region where the element was founded in. The periodic table was last updated in 2016 when four new elements were officially recognized by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, IUPAC, and the International Union of Pure and Applied Physics, IUPAP, IUPAP, IUPAC. The first published periodic table published by Dmitry Mendeleev in 1869 organized 63 known elements by atomic weight in a vertical chart. 4 or 5, Dimitri Mendeleev, chemist, 1834. Now, the when, the where, the what, and the who when it comes to European scientists is always a question, but we will take this word for word. Again, science is the discipline of knowing what the truth. But don't forget that these are the same scientists that brought us BS, pseudoscientific white supremacy BS. Not saying the people that I've mentioned, but from the European culture. So even scientists should be fact-checked. Their experiments should be experimented on. And again, that's what studying, that's what universities and colleges are all about. Younger people 
challenging the findings, the theses, the thoughts, and the results of people in the generation or generations above them. So what I am getting at here is that hip hop, just like science, is an ever changing, ever forming, ever evolving entity and or discipline. Hit that thumbs up. to the periodic table several black scientists have contributed to the periodic table including james andrew harris 1964 and 1970 harris was a part of a team at lawrence berkeley laboratory that discovered elements 104 Ruther rutherfordium and 105 dubnium dubnium as in the dub as in a 20 twin twin is that on the table I had to. That was an obvious joke. Okay. Uh, Harris was the first African-American to discover an element. He also supported young black scientists and engineers and worked with elementary school students. FBA doing what FBA does. Props to that brother. I didn't even know about this. Clarice Phelps. This is recent in 2010. Phelps was part of a team at the Nuclear Security and Isotope Technology Division that helped purify the isotope Berkelium-249. This isotope was used to confirm the discovery of element 117. Tennessee on the periodic table. Phelps is the first black woman to be involved in the discovery of a periodic element. Much respect to Clarice Phelps. So just like the disciplines of chemistry and or physics, you're saying that the science of hip-hop, the discipline of hip-hop, should have a more organized approach when it comes to the very important elements and what their functions are. So what elements should be added to hip hop when it comes to discussion? Well, I've already told you that FBA is the most abundant element. So FBA should be added. Should the person that created FBA, should their name be attached to this element? These are all questions that should be discussed and will be discussed more at length on this channel. What about delineation? FBA delineation, should that be an element of hip hop hop? I've heard street lingo as well as street fashion come up. I could say you could also add in academic lingo as well as non street fashion because even street dudes be dressing like preps sometimes, especially on the East Coast and places like New Jersey. Dudes walking around in tree torns a Carlton Banks V-neck tennis shirt, and they'll beat your ass. So, could we start there? FBA spirit, FBA thoughts, speech, and action. Black American delineation. You know, I once wrote a script. Maybe I'm giving too much away, but if you try it, come back and listen to this broadcast. Plus, I have the written manuscript. Um, that it was in the future. And to practice hip-hop, you had to have a license now. There was the National Committee on Hip Hop, which you had to get licensed through. If you weren't licensed, you could be arrested for practicing hip hop. Why? Because hip hop is as powerful as hydrogen. It is as useful as helium. It could be as beneficial or as deadly as uranium. So getting out in front of this thing, setting the record, setting the tempo. What we've learned is that non-FBAs in hip hop can be problematic. Not that there haven't been non-FBA contributions, but nine times out of ten, they're going to get problematic. Everybody's out here talking big about Fat Joe and this and that. Don't forget, I did a video on how he, out of his own mouth, was against Colin Kaepernick Neal. Because he don't want the feds to figure out what he be on because he be dealing them bricks. He be dealing them bricks to us. To us. Had an editing problem there. Hit that thumbs up. Listen, FBA has proven to be very powerful. Look at how people like Fat Joe and Dr. Clone are now reeling have fallen off of their surfboard and are being chewed up not by great white sharks but by black sharks because great white sharks are actually dark hit that thumbs up as a matter of fact fba may be the single most powerful element in hip-hop would hip-hop even exist without f b a energy and there can be variations of fba just like there are variations of different types of elements there's fba there's FBA delineation, there's FBA spirit, there's FBA revolution. Those are all distinctly different things, but all have the one common element of 
FBA. Thank you for giving me your ear. Welcome to our new subscribers. Let me know what you think. I want to open up a continuous discussion on this topic. This is Raw Says TV. We hear comments. Execution, yeah.